I never really experienced anybody talking about women's rights and what they deserve. And I always had this, maybe like a pity for myself because I was a woman. Then on top of that, I would say, well, I'm Native American. I'm at the bottom of the bottom. Cecilia gave me a feeling of like, you're not at the bottom and you are someone who deserves to be respected and you deserve to be treated right. Thank you. Can you help with us? Nothing. Absolute pleasure. Do you think that the people who impeached you allowed themselves to be used by these people with this outside agenda? You know, these so-called pro-life people from outside the reservation? I see the church played a very significant role in creating the hysteria around the abortion issue mm -hmm. on the Pine Ridge. When the Christian right invested all this money, they, I don't know where the dollar amount is, but they did invest very heavily to remove me. It's scary because the Christian right is very influential in Congress, and they're very influential in, in elections. There's an election in, what, November? Oh, yeah. For the new council? Are you planning to run? You bet I am. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I just started. <laughs> I think what we need to do is get more young women involved yeah. and men. Because it's your bodies we're talking about. It's your choices that we're talking about. I mean, I don't think I can save the world or actually save this whole place, but I'm going to do my part and see if I can change just a little bit. Yep. When you stand in the middle of that community of craziness, <laughs> You have to be real clear about who you are and what you believe in, mm -hmm. because they're going to come at you from all different directions. And no matter what they do, guess what? You're going to still stay standing because you believe in who you are and you believe in what you stand for. And that's the key. All right, I know. We'll see ya. Okay. This whole abortion story is really Christian. It's being laid on our people. I mean that you're a Christian. Yes. And you've committed to abstinence. Yes. But what happens if you get a teacher teaching this who absolutely could care less about abstinence? Yeah, that's right. I mean, there's so many things. If this, if this rut winds up in the hands of the wrong people, <laughs> they can take over the world. No, yeah. That's what comprehensive sex education is. It teaches all forms. It teaches abstinence as the first way. But if you're not going to be abstinent, then it teaches protection. All right. If our listeners want to get involved, how can they pray for you? What else can they do? The Lubbock Youth Commission is actually having a sex ed rally. Everybody will have booths, Planned Parenthood. I'm just cringing over here, man. <laughs> Why? Well, well, do you realize that every Thursday yeah. morning here in Lubbock, abortions are performed? Now, this is not towards you right. at all. Right. I'm just, I'm providing, you, you may not I'm providing information. This. That's all I'm doing. No, Bingo. no. Planned Parenthood is not the main one of this. This okay. is the youth of Lubbock. This is the people that are affected that will sure. have their say. I'm going to say this. If you're listening and you're a member of a church or you're a pastor and you'd like to see, uh, you'd like to make a difference as well, just as Shelby would, uh, then then our churches should get involved with the yeah. Lubbock, City of Lubbock Youth Commission. If you don't, shame on you. If you don't, then the ones that do get involved and it goes a direction you don't like, just be quiet. It's too late. There's nothing you can say. It's it's the it's, it's our fault. And we appreciate you taking time to come in this morning, Shelby. Thank you. All right, we'll be praying for you. Thank you. Yeah, the, you two raised her right. She's Thank tough. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she stands up. Yeah, she does. She's so. Uh... I'm kind of scary to tangle with, so. <laughs> I... <laughs> of course, I'm. I'm more proud that that she is committed to abstinence and sure. and the, going through the true love weights at church and all that, mm -hmm. you know. But I'm also glad that she can see that that's not reality. Yeah. That's for not everyone. every kid. Not that, for every, exactly. Every that, kid doesn't, isn't raised exactly, in the right family, that isn't raised not, in church. You knew you were going to be up against a lot of things, Shelby. It's so controversial that there's going to be opposition from every corner. He had just delivered his 2,500th baby, and he was busier than ever. All right, how's the baby? So we're all ready, right? I guess so. Are you nervous? Yes. 10 pounds? 
<laughs> Bigger than 10 pounds. <laughs> All right. We're doing the cesarean section. Nice low bikini cut. So you can get right back into your tongue suit this summer, no problem. All right. Hi, kiddo. You all right? I read the instruction book and everything. I did the connected dot one last night just to make sure. <laughs> all right, little pinch. Any, anything? Great. I delivered this lady's first baby in 1983. How's that for a long-term relationship? Band of scissors. Woo. All right, here we go. Nice baby girl. Oh, no, I changed that back. She's a tan pen. There she is. Woo. She looks good. All right, take a stitch. Pickups with. I got the pickups, you got the stitch. Like him. You know, he has brought a lot of wonderful babies into the world, but at the same time, how can you deliver a happy, healthy baby and pull one apart like they do in an abortion? We hope he has a change of heart. We hope and pray he has a change of heart. And that is very possible. In Great Britain, the pill was first dispensed at private clinics. Now, the really important thing you need to know about RU486, and I'm sure the doctor's already explained this to you, is that once you've taken it, once you've taken the three pills today, you are committed to following the course of treatment through. I found out I was pregnant very early. Literally, I think the day my period was due, I did a pregnancy test. And that is another very important factor about RU486. You can use it very, very quickly after your period is missed. And often with a surgical procedure, you have to wait a couple of weeks because the surgeons don't like to do it too early in case they miss the pregnancy. So that, for me, was a big advantage. Cytotec, the prostaglandin used in France, was not licensed for use with RU486 in Britain. Instead, women were given a different prostaglandin, one that was more painful. Because of the requirements of the licensing of IU486 in Britain, we have to use um, a, va a vaginal suppository of prostaglandin, which means that the side effect experienced by the women at the second treatment vi visit, when the prostaglandin is administered, are a lot worse than they are with an oral prostaglandin. Okay, they give you some, something for it. Okay. Most okay. women preferred right. the pill over you. surgical abortion despite the pain caused by the vaginal suppository. Okay. I've actually got quite bad pain, with stomach okay. cramps. Right. Quite, quite, okay. so quite bad. Okay. I must admit, I wasn't expecting to experience pain. I think, um, although I knew that some people did, I think I thought, oh, because I haven't had painful periods in the past, I was going to be one of the ones that sailed through. Out of about eight of us, six were just simply sitting up in their beds, reading their magazines, wondering what the fuss was about. Nothing happens initially. It was probably about 30 to 45 minutes later that I began to feel a little cramping, just like minor period pains, which then sort of progressed into, into what were sort of bad period pains. Cytotec was developed to prevent stomach ulcers and carried a strong warning on the label against use by pregnant women.